Thanks. You're watching the Glock Brothers. Roll the footage. It would be another one. Another one. The internet is not the internet is not a big truck. The internet is not something that you just dump something on. The internet is Mr. Franklin, what form of government have you given us? Ma'am, I have given you a republic. You can keep it. <laughs> so, the title of this video. Democracy versus a republic. Or, or, or. A republic is falling. It is. A, the, the republic is eroding. Many Americans believe today that we are a democracy. And, uh, it's a republic. There's an important difference. There, there's an important difference. And if we read our Constitution and our Bill of Rights, nowhere, democracy's in there 500 times. No, it's nowhere to be found. It's Say nowhere to be found. What? We actually have a video that we're going to link that we encourage everyone to to watch. Everyone to watch. Every good American to watch. And I know the gun community will probably watch this video and be like, hey, I already knew that. Hey, I didn't know that. But this video talks about four types. Or is it five? Five. It's, it talks about five types, but it, it tells you kind of, it gives you a oligarchy. A, a, a monarchy. monarchy. It, it gives you a monarchy first. So one person solely having power. Yeah. Oligarchy. One person and a group of people. The group lead. And then it has the a corporate elite. A democracy. A republic. And then an anarchy. Okay, so we we so do not like anarchy. We are not anarchists. No, no, we're not. But he, here's the thing. A monarchy really doesn't exist. Because a king or a dictator a, 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 a can't do it all. A, a monarchy is is a king surrounded by nobles, which is an oligarchy. The so, elite. So the so the, the elite, elite lead, and then a democracy is, of course, the 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 majority rules. Majority rules, and then a republic is a balance of the law. It's a balance of, of government. You know. A little bit of this, a little bit of government, a little bit of law. A little bit of government, a little bit of law. You know, right there, level. You know, that's why Lady Liberty out there with her little scalp is... And then, of course, anarchy. But is is justice blind anymore in America? No, apparently she... Who, sees, who has the most money? And apparently she sees. And whoever has got the highest amount of money is it. And, and the reason why we want to do this video... Is because one, we live in a republic, and we always want to live in a republic and die in a republic. We don't want to see the the the, the republic sunset on our watch, and we don't want to see a rise to a democracy, which inevitably leads to an oligarchy. I mean, where are we at I right mean, now? Literally, a democracy is a transition to an oligarchy, where well, the power well. Well, the power the, is the by one person and an elite. The, the, the president, he got the most votes, and 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 our voices has been heard. He's got the most votes, and and he should be able to do whatever he wants. He doesn't have to follow this thing called the law or the constitution. Uh, if if I can't get the votes, I'll write a law around it. I'll write an executive order. The, our founding fathers created three forms of government. To balance three, each other. Three branches. Three branches of government. Excuse me, sorry. Three branches of government that all do a balancing act. That all keep the other one in check. If one decides that he's got more power, the other two will keep the one in check. If two forms, you're getting out of thing, the one comes and keeps the other two in check. They're, they're there to balance each other. That's what was supposed to happen, one, but what's happening today? Who who who's buying who's buying interest in in the Congress? Who's who's buying it? Corporations. 
Now, are we are we the liberal hippie douches who are like, uh, man, we're against corporations, man. Mm, corporations. Corporations, man. You you know, see, it, 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 the corporation it, it gets together and, and, and corporations. We're, 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 not, we're not saying that. But we, we think that there is a healthy balance of corporation and government. Not but, not corporations pushing their power and then governments coming in and oh yeah, yeah, everything's gonna be fine. I mean here, we got, here here's the problem. Who makes the law to say, hey, we have this corruption of corporate interests buying politicians? Okay, they say well, you know, maybe if I maybe, had the votes, I'd take all of them. Maybe if I had the votes. You know, maybe we need to look into this. Uh, if I know. if if I had the money, if I had the dollar signs, and if I had the, the the poor little children crying and the emotionals, you know, and and all of that, you know, I would have taken the guns away. So, some of these politicians want to call it campaign finance reform. Well, you no, know, maybe we do need a little bit of campaign finance reform. It's not campaign finance reform. It's corruption. What they're Absolutely. doing is corruption. It is corruption. Don't tell me anything differently. It's corruption. The only people who can fix the corruption are the ones benefiting from the corruption. They don't live in they, they, they don't live in reality. They live in a fantasy land where I pass a law, I well let me tell you I'm concerned. And, 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 you know, education, you know, it's important. And let's but, just, I'll but, just stop you right there, Senator Big Lou. Take Rome, for example, okay? And, and this video plays out Rome in a very perfect. They started out uh, with the teachings of a, a philosopher and created a republic from what writings that they had. And slowly over time, social programs, different things and different things, the Republic was lost. Let me tell you. And it I, was pushed to... We need stronger American democracy. Vote me in and, and we will Later take on, care of all your needs. Translated, translated from a democracy to the Caesars to an oligarchy. And, and, and you people gave up their freedom for security. Sound like anything that's going on in the news today? Sound like anything where politicians after politicians voting themselves, they can't even balance a damn budget, but yet they think they deserve a race. You and I balance our checkbooks every day. They send our armed, they send our, our veterans, and they send our men and women in, in uniform into battle while they sit at their comfy desk on their ass. Here. And, and tie your hands behind spit, your back spit and go fight service. a war. Go fight a war that you're never ever going to win because you know what? We're not here to help you to win. We're just here because you know we want to preserve let, what we have. Let me tell you, I'm concerned about uh, even in our uh, own freaking state of Utah. Hey, it's Mr. Senator uh, Scoot, Orrin Hatch. Scoot, I'm on a committee. He he's he's all he's all for and support a sofa. Anybody who I, has... I have it. changed my position on SOPA. Oh, oh, really? Is that because you went and made the statement, Senator Hatch, that anybody who has any type of illegal downloaded pirated software how to have their computer destroyed, <laughs> but his own personal servers had <laughs> stolen information Scoot, on it? Let me tell you, I've, I've changed my position. Yeah, he's changed his position. Because thank you. I am thank a weasel. You, thank you, Senator Ash. And I, well, I'll just shut up now because you can't. I you can't Bill Clinton your way out of this a, one. I'm a Dumas. You can't Bill Clinton your way out of this one, Senator Hatch. Let me tell you though, I'm concerned, and yeah, I'm on yes, a committee. Thank you, thank you. you. Now I have the floor now, and you need to shut up. <laughs> I yield my time back to the back to the Mister Scoot. I'm not saying that I want all the power. And I'm not saying that we want all the power, but we need to have a healthy balance, like our founding fathers we intended. Can't, we can't we have not, we, we no longer have a healthy balance. And if we think that we're going to push towards an anarchy, I mean, we already know what anarchy is. It's a, it's a form of those that are not happy with the current government 
who will go out and create the problem hey. and then automatically have the solution. And Fidel Castro. It worked out for Fidel. It, it, worked, it worked, worked out for it, Mao it, in it, China. It worked out for Adolf Hitler and his Maybe brown shirt. It worked out for Stalin, but not uh, not several of hundreds of millions of other people. Yeah, how many how many people did Stalin kill? How many people did uh, Hitler and his brown shirts kill? Oligarchies. It works. It works for those guys. How, how many? People, it works how, for those in the elite. How many people did Paul Potts kill? Hey, we can't have these educated people using these five dollar words. Let me tell you, we don't have all the answers. We don't. We're not the experts, but we do you know guys. have some understanding of what healthy balance that we do want. I am tired of the elitist politicians in our United States coming up with things like SOPA, CISPA, whatever the hell you want to call it, wanting to limit Total what, we can say, what, what we can and cannot say. They want to shut down this network. That, that, that is the final thing because you get a little taste of power, you want a little bit more. You want a little bit more. And it, they want a democracy. They are the elite. They are the best. They they deserve everything. They create all the problems, and yet they've got a campaign to solve all the answers. Let me tell you, I'm going to be on a committee. Let me tell you. They, yeah, they're on, the they're, people, they're on a committee. They're on a chair. The they're, people that we want in there are not the people who want to go through a campaign. The wise, the, wise, the smart, the, the, the intellect people who, who would hate to be king. Who would hate to be the leaders? We need George Washingtons who turned down being the king of our nation. Yeah, those those no, are the no, people. No. I don't want that power. He said. We need to go and vote it. We need to go find them. We need to go secretly put their name on the ballot books, and we need to make sure that they get in office. Rather than uh, uh, let me tell you, I'm Senator Say, Big Blue. Senator Big Blue here, and boss. and, and it, this coming November, let me tell you, it is so important. This election, what, what year? 2016, let me tell you. 2016, is it's going to be our year, and we, we've got to get it back because those people in that other party, let me tell you, they're crazy, and, and if we could just get them out of office, and, and, and if you got all of my party in, let me tell you, it'd be good. And yeah, it, you're putting me to sleep. Anyway, it, it doesn't matter if it's not good for our state. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. what's good for our party. It's it's party first in, in our state. Like, oh, wait, I'm not supposed to say that part. Dang it, I screwed up. Anyway, we, 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 we just caught Big Lou on there. We just caught Senator, this Big, we, we just caught Senator Big Lou on there you know, talking about his uh, awesome campaign reform here and whatnot. It's corruption. It is time for us to push back. Not campaign finance reform. And we're not talking about pushing back with violence. We're talking back by pushing back with the war of words. Fix it. Fix it now or you're gone. We don't want to be doing this in old foxhole. We, we, we don't want to create a civil war. We do not want to kill our fellow countrymen. And, and and that and and that is an issue, brother against brother, of, of, of where the social elitism leads to, where you know people are will be starving in the streets, asking the government, "Oh, grab the bread, give me the bread." We don't want that. We know what we need to have is a healthy balance. We don't need this far, you know, extreme government. Total power. Total power. We don't need this. We don't need the scale anarchy where the, there's no the, government. The scale, literally, as as people have confused that you know, on the right we've got Nazism and fascism, and, and and on the other side we have communism and whatever else you want to throw in there, socialism and stuff like that. That's not the scale. The scale is total power. Total power. Government has all the power. to no power, and we need to find that hell that healthy medium. Which what our founding Toward, fathers towards the freedom, which our founding and, fathers found. What do you think that they read book after book after book, studied government after government after government to figure out what worked, what didn't work? Sir, what have you given us? A republic, if you can keep it, ma'am. We got it. We and that's not that's not an exact quote. 
It doesn't. It doesn't. Watch the video. It doesn't come back to you know. We need to get rid of some of these gun laws. We've got to get rid of a lot of the crap. We've got to fire every son of a gun. We've got to go join the Republican Party, join the the the, the Democratic Party, and fire them and the convention. We've got to get our numbers out there. And we've got to fire them. You've got elitists like Senator Diane Feinstein who won't even debate. Because that's not the way she wants to run her campaign. She thinks she is so damn special. She doesn't debate? No, she does not debate. In fact, when the, a lot of people were pushing for her to debate. And she was, we'll probably, I'll find a link and we'll put that video if I can find it. If it hasn't been mysteriously taken down for copyrights. Or, you know, if, I, if she and hasn't, you know, and her that cronies. That doesn't make me look the best. So it's got to go. So... Right there, elitist. Didn't we get that bill soap at a pass? You know, that was uh, no, okay. purchased. All right, stop, Senator from, Feinstein. From uh, Senator Hollywood, Bo Senator Boner Killer, as uh, Dino Dab. Let me tell says. you, Hollywood's bought me out, and that's why I support okay. this soap of bill. All right, stop. Shut up. We don't want to hear you, Senator Boner Killer, anymore. Just stop. Elitists like her, and ma ma many more. You've got Mr. Mayor. Michael Buttberg over there. You got hey, Gabby man. Gifford, who, who who's an expert since she since she's been shot. She's an expert on gun control. Yet our veterans who get shot. Yet our veterans who get injured. Yet our veterans who come back missing limbs. Yet our veterans who give their lives are nothing more than a pile of crap to these people. But that they've got a campaign about how how important our veteran is. We're, very, we're concerned very, about the very, children. Very few, very few of our elected officials actually care about our veterans, and that is the god honest truth. Because you know that's why that's why the elitists are so willing to let's send uh, them with their tie their hands tied behind their back into war. Let's let's see what they can get accomplished. Now this is sounds like an ang angry rant, but it, going it, on seventeen minutes, it, it comes down to this: let us do everything in our power to keep our republic, as Senator, as uh, uh, our founding father Benjamin Franklin said. Let's do everything in our power to keep our republic, to keep us from becoming a democracy, to keep us from becoming an oligarchy, like the elitists want. They have the power. They've liked the taste of power. How and they long, will continue how long have to they vote been... themselves into that power and to give every special benefit that they can to have that power. How long have they been teaching that in our schools that we spend more than anybody else and more per child and get nothing and teach them? Oh, we need to make a democracy. 800, 809.6 billion. And, and, and we got the worst out of everybody in the world. But it's because corruption. We're, we're, it comes you know, down we to corruption. Up here in the spending, up here off the charts, and here, here we are, down here. We could be a lot better. Corruption. Right here in our own school boards, just, just up the street here, just up the street there. We've got corruption everywhere. Oh, I, uh, I'm, I'm the administrator, and I, I need five uh, secretaries, and I need seven principals, but, uh, uh, and I, I need all this uh, are you money. Are you concerned about our children oh, yes, and our the, education? The, yes, the children are very Is important. Is that your top we, priority? We, we need... Um, Do our students deserve more? Can, can you give me a coffee here? I, I need to take a nap. Uh, what, what, what policies have you come up with? Have you come up with a... a a zero gun tolerance policy. Oh yes, we where a kid draws a picture we, of his father. We we put with it, a gun. We because his father's a a soldier. We put together a crack team of uh, gun control free zones. You know, and like we've said before, signs don't stop criminals. Signs don't stop those hell bent on making a name for themselves. And you know, the media does a great job pushing along the further the the agenda. And they do a great job letting us know, you know it's about the children. We need to, we need to be about the children. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks thank for you, getting thank in this. Thank you for your bar. support. Thanks for staying for so long and listening to us rant. Thanks for being. A Watch sub. the links of the videos. Uh, the Senator Feinstein not wanting to debate. And uh, <laughs> did you? Did you did, did, How about uh, you? <laughs> we did that in the last video. We're not using that. 
But watch the video, Democracy versus Republic. It's a great video to watch and, and to refresh and to refresh us. A republic Sir? if you can keep it, man. All right. Sir? <laughs> Signing out. Bring you Tom Foolery since 1981. You hear that? Tom Foolery. Old Big Lou over here is falling asleep on us. Thanks for watching, guys.